Futures and options on futures trading involve substantial risk and is not a suitable investment for all types of investors. Past results are not necessarily indicative of future results. When I use the word I in this video, it refers to what I teach in my charting course or what I author in my twice daily oral and written updates. Prices shown on charts and quote boards are in real time and take into account all known activity up to this point in time. And if you'd like to read more of this disclaimer, simply hit the pause key on your video player. Good morning, all. Ira Epstein of Linden Associates with your morning flash update for this Friday, and this is the 21st of April, 2017, about 9.20 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Well, an interesting day, a lot of fundamentals we'll talk about. Keep in the back of your mind that what's going to weigh in Europe is going to be the French election. There'll be coverage of it, I know, all over TV. I believe uh, Bloomberg will have it starting at about one o'clock in the afternoon Sunday so you know you can tune in but there's different stages it's run differently than the American elections they can give you how the out turn is in other words people voting is and then they'll come in as the polls start closing and give you some real snap ideas as to what's going on also watch today the price of energy you've got to keep your eye on it if the market gets under 50 problems and that could weigh on the energy sector and the stocks now you've got two different worlds going on in the stock market right now you've got strength in the nasdaq and the russell you've got weakness in the dow in the s p in the metal markets silver is taking its pounding could it be going back to the 1750 areas what i'm the trade might be talking about the gold market pulling back still big support in the gold still at the uh 200-day average, around the 1267 level, so I think traders are looking at that. As you come over and you look at the grain markets, uh, we had Stats Canada come out today, bearish in the wheat and the corn market. Uh, I was, I'm surprised, actually, that you're getting bids in the beans and the meal, but you are because it looked to me like the canola market's going to overproduce there according to what they're saying. As you take a look at our bonds and notes this morning, you're seeing a slight bit in them as traders are very uncertain about the French and what's going to happen there. So you still have your uh, risk buyers coming into that market temporarily. And that is impacting things because as you look at the NAR existing home sales, these are the best numbers since February 2007, 10 years ago. So it gives you an idea that when interest rates went up off the last Fed move, that the pullback down now that the market has done has impacted that enough where you're getting monster numbers in these home sales. And remember, these are the spring numbers as we're now moving right into the summer, the heart of the market. So interesting there, good for the housing market. Market groups uh, with economic data came out with the U.S. preliminary April service sector PMI at 52.5 versus the final March at 52.8. We're versus the April manufacturing's PMI at 52.8 versus 53.3, so both a little bit lower. Here's a problem that's starting to show up in the Brits, and they're, they're getting concerned that it uh, could show that household spending is starting to finally slow. And that's their data showed retail sales volume during the first quarter was off 1.4% from the year ago quarter. And that's the largest decline in a first quarter since 2010. Then we go on with the German composite PMI, and that was 56.3, off from 57.1. That's below the analyst forecast, a little slow down there. April Eurozone uh, composite PMI, 56.7, was better. So as a group, they're better. Here's a factor I guarantee you that nobody's talking about. It, we have to find out if the numbers are real because they have to be verified by Monday by the EU. Germany's 2016 primary surplus, 4.19% of its GDP product. That's more than eight times higher than its bailout target. That'd be a phenomenal number for them. We'll see if that is real. Now, here's a problem that you would think would be supporting copper. It's the Grossberg mine. You know, the Grossberg mine's been fighting, if you will, with the Indonesian government about ownership, uh, exports, and the mine said, the heck with it. We got enough on ground. We're not going to do anything. So the government, and they shut their mines down. Government comes back and says, we'll let you export up to a million one tons. And Grossberg said, fine, we'll ship out what we got, but we're not putting the mine back to work. And they let off, I think, 9,000 people or so. 
Well, now the remaining miners that want, now that the uh, export license is due to come through next week, the union's going on strike. It doesn't want those other people laid off. That supply doesn't look like it's coming onto the market at this point, but it hadn't been there anyways, and maybe that's why copper's just sort of sitting here not doing a lot one way or the other. But that battle's going to continue for quite a while. Freeport has too much to lose to cave in. Let's talk about something for you. The price counts, which are unique to Lynn and Associates, you don't get this anywhere else. What these are is a primary formula that we created here. And in that formula, what you're able to do is if a market has a formation that's been going sideways and breaks out, where might the market go to? Think of Fibonacci swing lines on steroids. Top, you get these top formations. Where might they carry down? And here's the beauty of it. We teach you how to do it. We're going to give you the PDFs, videos, and you can even use our charting software and learn how to do it. Add this trading tool to your arsenal. Either call us, go to our website, you'll see a carousel of free offers for the price count information, or click right up here if you're watching us on YouTube, then the form will appear. I'm Ira Epstein. You have yourselves a very, very good weekend. I'll see you at the end of the day videos. Good trading to you today.